You can wear medium, can't you? You are on a 14. Can you wear this then? Medium, it's 13, it's less. I like that though. I like the idea of, of Shadowheart in that because it gives her the extra radiant stuff. And she is a cleric, they like radiant. Or radiance. Where did that go? So it's a higher AC. We'd gain plus one to deck saving throws and checks. We'd gain plus one to initiative, which is nice. At the moment, we're not fighting undead creatures. So we're not getting the benefit of the one to six radiant. And beasts are kind of few and far between to build something. Yeah, I think we wear that. This isn't what I want Todd in. I want him in leather armor, but this is this is what we've got. And it gets his AC up a bit, so. Send that to Shadowheart, I think. Oh, action, not reaction. So can you send things to camp? What have you got? I mean you have stuff. Wish to live in more interesting times. Sort by type. I like a good sort by type. Right, so every everybody's stuff is sent to this chest. Whoever we send it from. It's it's a traveller's chest, and it said it was a personal chest, but it, everybody Obviously the player has access to it, but everybody sends to it. That's fine. Right. Shadowheart, we gonna talk about your box again? Shah's blessings upon you. Do we try it? I want to get to know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Oh yeah, she can't remember, can she? Tell me something about yourself besides Shah, besides tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? <laughs> well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? So, she can't swim, so if we need to get rid of her, we just push her in a river. Job done. You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass some. It's a deal. Anything else you care to share? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. And who will you be then? Hey Catherine, how you doing? Nice to see you. Hope you've had your memory uh, you had your memory suppressed. That seems extreme. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Oh. Oh. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Yeah, sometimes enduring isn't enough.
Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. We've been very patient. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her internal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. That's true. That's very true. I don't want to call her out. She's finally starting to open up. Mm, angry and vulnerable. They usually go hand in hand. I've learned with my dealings. Let's turn to other matters. The artifact seems to be protecting us somehow. Do you still have it? Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Good. Curious that you happen to have an item that protects us. How did you come by it? I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. She really does have faith, doesn't she? Admiral Conviction, though, I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of your own. Scratch. And let the matter drop. Uh, we, you've missed a scrap. You've not missed any party interactions. We were just doing a bit of adventuring. And nearly got killed by goblins. Need to find a way forward. Just put one foot in front of the other, Todd. That's how walking works. We're going to talk about your fangs, matey. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I need to turn that hat off as well. How does someone become a vampire, exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Is that... Is that D&D vampire law or is that real vampire law? So they can turn you by feeding on you. But they set you free. Because I thought to turn you into a vampire, you had to drink their blood. So they bite you, you bite them? <laughs> yes and no. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me. Mm. It doesn't happen. Tell me about your history. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? Wow. I was a slave. A vampire spirit. Born. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. 
They won't ever control me again. And speaking of vulnerable... Creepy, creepy stuff. Lazel, you got anything for me? We seem to be getting more things now Speak. after the the first fight. Not from you, though. Will, I really want to know more about these goblins. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. Hmm. Yes, that's why we're doing this. We can't do it in the old world. Um, we're doing this to help Zevlor. Yeah, so we need to kill the goblins. Look at the drum. Can I play the drum? Oh, it's gotta be. The Queen's high seas to go with the hat. Yeah, that's, that's as bad as Shepard's dancing. Take it off. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Poor performance. Gail? What's on your mind? Your silly hat. You alright, Gail? You look a bit unwell. Gail, have you broken? Gail, talk to me. Talk to me, Gail. Nothing a bit of magic can't solve, right? Is this where we get into it? You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. I think I might have a dock leaf in my bag or some medical uh, medicinal berries. Thank you for the offer. But the treatment for my condition is very specific. What it comes down to is this. Every so often I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Sounds expensive. Your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm going to need details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact. Since before we were abducted. It is time. And by that, I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Sounds like no condition I've ever heard of. I'd say you're just fishing for loot. Please. I've better things to do with my time than hoodwink gullible adventurers out of their trinkets. We are pretty gullible. I know that what I ask may seem unreasonable, but I promise I only make such a request because it is so incredibly important. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. Use your tadpole. Seek the danger at the heart of Gale's request. We're fine. You really don't like Gale, do you, Catherine? You become one in Gale's mind. And you can feel something sinister oppressing you. It's inside of you. A mighty darkness radiating from your chest. You could try to push further, but your hold over Gale feels brittle. It won't be easy delving deeper without him noticing. No. Don't risk it. So, do you agree? I'll give you the really crap things that we're done with.
Very well. I'll help you manage this condition of yours. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. What will happen to this item should I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. There's certain things that I don't want to give him. And I, I know that we've said we, we live by our choices and we're going to try and do that more often. But I want to, it should tell you what it, item it is. Or you can just choose. Give Gale a magical artifact. Oh, we can choose. But it's stuff that I have equipped. I mean, we don't need to boost Todd's intelligence, he's perfectly fine as he is. The only person that would wear that would be Gale, and I think he's already at intelligence 17, so have at it. It's not that good, it just boosts intelligence to 17. It would be good if Lazel had gone down the Eldridge Knight route, but we didn't, so... You can have that and only that. Thank you. So that scar is part of this. It's a cool looking scar. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A demon. metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of? Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. That condition of yours is a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. <laughs> I feel like we're progressing the story of the companions, which is cool. Come on, Scratch. Stay away from Gale. He might eat you. Hope you're keeping well, friend. You too, Scratch. One of the few joys of video games is petting the dog. No, we haven't got the Albert yet. I think we need to rest. Which we will do. Yep. We need to recuperate before we head back oh no this isn't good am I just drunk I'm probably drunk the air is heavy moisture drips down your forehead pain shoots through your fingers this is new to me Rub your aching hands. The ache builds as you squeeze your hands together. Were your fingers always so thick? Your skin always so sticky? Just you try it. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, 
gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Let's do it. Let's push into a mind. Explore Lazel's mind. We needed two. We have two dice. Dirty 20. A shadow swims across your vision and a familiar voice tells you to be calm. You are loved. Lazel's fear grips you. Not fear of death, but fear of insignificance. The great warrior Lazel, a failure to her kind. She will wield no silver sword, ride no red dragon, forever unknown to the great Lich Queen Vlacketh. Lich Queen? Let's, let's. Oh, we have advantage on all of these? Right, okay. Okay, interesting. Um, I don't feel like attacking her is the right option right now. And if her crash is truly the only way that we can get this sorted, we need her alive. I'm not surrendering to her. Todd doesn't surrender to anyone. Not, not without a, a good scrap, anyway. I quite like the medicine idea. It's just a fever. The rest will break. Uh, rest will break it. But I'm tempted to try and throw her off guard. Be strong. You will survive this. You will please your queen. The religion stuff works with Shadowheart. Might work with Lazel. I will not let the Geich take me. I will earn Vlacketh's honor. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will I'll kill end you. us all. I think that turned out for the best. Oh, this will be new. Because it's a guardian, not a love. You are transforming. the hell is this? I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Who are you? Get up on your own. Independent. Good.
We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes Naturally. from that parasite. Your oh. instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. What is that? A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. Now I'm conflicted. Embrace your potential. Yeah, Todd, uh, drows, elves, maybe half elves, uh, they don't sleep but they meditate. Which is why Todd, and I think Shadowheart in some scenes looks that way as well. We were visited in our dreams by a mysterious figure who told us that our illithid uh, 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 parasites are special and the source of great potential. Interesting. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Very interesting. Is she what she appears to be? Yeah, well, that's the question, isn't it? Wonder if the gods are watching me. They seem to be, Todd. You moron. I'm so glad that they've changed that because that works. Obviously they've added more to the scene, but it works so much better than the, the dream sequences with the, the first woman you choose in early access. Oh, that I chose in early access. Um, Glick. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone yeah. came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is geek deception. But is it? If the parasite can empower us, I say we let it. We could use the edge in combat. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I'm... Mm. I don't know. I don't have an answer. What are your thoughts on it? I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites <laughs> in our head. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. I did. I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Oh, he's buying into it. At the moment, I don't trust it. We should avoid using these powers. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? <laughs> Honestly, it's like you hate good news. 
Did you actually want something, or are you just here to spoil my fun? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. What do you think? Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Have you? No, sorry. Happened to you as well? Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but... I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess. In the waking world or otherwise. Yeah, we can't. It, it it's it is it's trying to tempt everyone. Um I would have liked an option of what do you think about us using the power rather than we should use it or we shouldn't use it. Um 